We want to welcome you to the broadcast. It's Thursday, March the 3rd, 2022. Hope you're having a wonderful day today. It's a, another beautiful day here in sunny North Carolina, and we thank the Lord and praise the Lord for that. Well, we're, uh, we're just thanking God for a wonderful service last night. God met with us, and we had a good crowd and a good spirit, and it was just a great spirit of fellowship last night, and enjoyed that time around the altar, uh, in altar prayer, and uh, then just, you know, just a good time around the Word last night, and so isn't it great? Man, I'm telling you what, isn't it great to be a part of the family of God? And we're also so thrilled to have our Countdown family with us today. Thank you for tuning in. It's a blessing to see folks coming aboard as we're getting ready to come on live. And so let me encourage you, as I often do, let me encourage you to like and share the broadcast. The more you do that, the more the truth is going to get out. And also let me encourage you to comment, all right? We would love to recognize you on the air. We love to interact with our live audience. And so anyway, welcome aboard. Countdown to Courage is an outreach ministry of the Calvary Baptist Church of Union Grove, North Carolina. And boy, God's doing great things. And we just praise the Lord and thank the Lord for that. Hey, listen, would you do us a favor? Would you pray for us tonight? We'll be in a special meeting in Burnsville, North Carolina, up on the top of the mountain tonight uh, at the Concord Baptist Church. If you're anywhere in that area, listen, come on over. Service starts at 7 o'clock, and uh, we're looking forward to a great time with, uh, with that church family tonight. So you pray for us, if you will. And uh, anyway, anyway, and then we're, uh, we are looking forward to a fantastic weekend. Now, let me say this. We are uh, going to be involved in a funeral tomorrow at this exact same time. And, uh, and so um, chances are, more than likely, we'll not be on here tomorrow. So I know we've been talking about the book giveaway, and I'll mention that in just a moment. Uh, we'll, we'll, what we'll do is we'll reserve that, Lord willing, for Tuesday, all right? So for next Tuesday, we'll try to give the book away. And so you pray for, uh, uh, pray for Miss Jennifer and our church and her family, Brother Michael, uh, as they'll be laying her dad to rest tomorrow. And uh, and so anyway, you pray pray for us in that as well. We'll be uh, involved in preaching that funeral tomorrow. And so pray for the salvation of souls and that the Lord would be glorified. All right, well, that's a lot of stuff right here off the first, but let's go ahead and see who's aboard. And then we'll make uh, an announcement and get right into a very brief, brief lesson today, but I believe it'll be helpful for you uh, today. Let's see here. Looks like we've got another great crowd on here. Uh, the Hooks are watching from Morganton. Hello, Barry and Christine. Great to have you aboard today. Gwendolyn Rash is watching. Gwendolyn, good to see you today. I hope you're having a fantastic day. There's Almeida. Miss Almeida, good to see you today. Thanks for being such a regular uh, here on Countdown. God bless you, Miss Almeida. I hope you and Charles and the family are doing well today. Uh, there's Miss Karen. Hello, Miss Karen Hoffman. Good to see you, Karen. Hope you're having a wonderful Thursday today. Uh, Drusilla Mendoza. Hello, Drusilla. I hope you and Martin are blessed beyond measure today. Sure appreciate you folks. Uh, there's Brother Rodney. Hello, Brother Rodney. It was good to talk to you just a few moments ago, my brother. I love you and appreciate you. And I hope you and Allison have a wonderful day today. Rodney, good to see you. Uh, let's see here. I'm looking quickly. There's Brother Ricky, Brother Ricky Bird. Hello, Ricky. Hope you're having a great day today, uh, my friend. Thank you for tuning in, Ricky. There's uh, Harriet Mason. Hello, Miss Harriet. Good to see you today. Hope you're having a wonderful Thursday. Miss Patsy Bird is watching today. Hello, Miss Patsy. I hope you and Ronnie are having a wonderful day there in Harmony. Good to see you. There's Miss uh, Carrie Painter is watching. Happy Thursday, y'all, she says. Uh, Carrie, good to see you. Hope you and the girls are blessed. Uh, Abigail, Meredith. Good to see you guys today. God bless you. Uh, Donnie uh, Bowers is watching. Hello, Donnie. Hope you're having a, a wonderful week so far. There's Phyllis Hudson. Hello, Miss Phyllis. And I hope you and Jackie are blessed today. So good to see you. Carla Revis is watching. She says, me and Allie. All right. And so Carla and Atley, we want to welcome them aboard today. Love you guys. Good to see you today. Amen. Appreciate your spirit. Let's see here. I'm looking fast. There's Brother Mike Hill. Hello, Brother Mike. Brother Mike's going to be teaching our adult Sunday school class this coming Lord's Day, and I know it's going to be out of this world. And so lift up Brother Mike. Uh, listen, if you've not been coming to Sunday school or not been going to Sunday school anywhere, come and be with us at 945 this coming Sunday morning. You're sure to get a blessing. Brother Mike, good to see you today. Uh, there's Eugene. Hello, Eugene. 
Good to see you. Happy Thursday to you, brother. Um, all right, there's Joyce Jones. Hello, Miss Joyce. I was just praying for you and Jerry just a few moments ago, literally just a few moments ago. Good to see you, Joyce. God bless you. There's Timmy Painter. Hello, Timmy. Good to see you, buddy. Hope you're having a fantastic day today. There's Miss Nina Hill. Hello, Miss Nina. It was great to see you back in the house of the Lord last night. Amen. Love you, folks. Good to see you all today. Uh, Harrison Wabiru. Harrison, good to see you, brother. I was just praying for you a few moments ago as well. Harrison, we love you, buddy. We've never physically met, but we love you, and good to see you today. Hope you and your wife are having a wonderful day today. Thank you for what you're doing for the Lord in your corner of the world, Harrison. Good to see you. Um, Chuck Campbell's with us. Hello, Chuck. Good to see you, brother. Thank you for tuning in today. Christine Edwards. Hello, Christine. I hope you and Gary are having a wonderful day today. Um, thank you, Chuck. I saw your post there. Thank you, buddy. Uh, listen, that's some of the ones that I see. We've got a good crowd. Man, good crowd on here today. It's good to see the number back up again today. And uh, would you help me do this countdown, family? Would you help me welcome folks aboard as they tune in? Some folks get in here a little late. Some folks will catch this later on in the day, maybe home from work, maybe tomorrow. Uh, and that's all right. However that happens, that's okay. As long as the truth gets out, that is the main thing. Um, listen, let me mention this. Uh, I've already mentioned this, but we're going to do the, the book giveaway Tuesday, all right? So if you're just now tuned in, we're going to be involved in a funeral tomorrow at this exact same time. So uh, more than likely, we will not air the broadcast tomorrow. So Tuesday, God willing, we'll see you, and we will uh, we'll give this book away, Are You Ready for Sunday? It's one of the last books that we came out with, and I believe uh, I, I believe it'll be a blessing to you. And we're gonna, in fact, we're going to use it today. We're going to use it today, and I'm going to give you an excerpt or two uh, out of the book. Well, hey, listen, let me uh, let me talk to you today a little bit about study, about the importance of study. I've got a, a chapter in the book on Are You Ready for Sunday that deals with the importance of study. Listen to some verses. Uh, first of all, 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15, the Bible says, Study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Now, most of you know that verse, and some of you have it committed to memory, and that's a good one to memorize. Let me give you a verse or two that maybe you don't have committed to memory, but this th these verses speak of the Christians in a place called Berea. And listen to what the Bible says in Acts chapter 17, verses 10 through 12. And the brethren immediately sent away Paul and Silas by night unto Berea, who coming thither went into the synagogue of the Jews. These were more noble than those in Thessalonica, in that they received the word with all readiness of mind and searched the scriptures daily, whether those things were so. And then the Bible says, therefore, many of them believed. Now, um, again, the thing that I think is uh, amazing about that, uh, about that passage is that the Bible says that they searched the Scriptures daily. Now, boy, they were studying. They were, that, that's the idea. That's the implication there. These Christians in Berea were busy in study. Now, uh, our folks at Calvary have heard me say this many times. It is so important that we know what we believe. As Christians, when we get around others, we shouldn't have to bow our heads because we're embarrassed that we don't know the Scriptures. Listen, we need to know what we believe, and the only way that we'll ever know what we believe is by spending a lot of time in study. The truth of the matter is that people often believe very foolish things, and one of the reasons that they believe those foolish things is because they've never spent a lot of time uh, or a lot of time in study. Sometimes people believe what they feel. Now, you have to be very careful about that. Uh, boy, sometimes we feel good. Sometimes we don't feel so good. And so you have to be very, very careful about believing things. Somebody says, well, I just feel like this is right. Well, what you had better do is you better you better check that according to the Word of God and make sure that uh, that that is right. Just because we feel something doesn't mean it's right. And so it's very, very important that we study. Again, I want to say this, that people often believe foolish things because they fail to study. Now, some of you watching today, uh, doubtless, some of you like to fish. I like to fish. We have several in our church that love to fish. 
And if you've ever been a fisherman, they have something in fishing called uh, called a reaction bite. And uh, now a reaction bite usually is going to happen when fish just aren't biting very good. It might be it might be really warm. And when it gets really, really warm and the water temperature gets really, really high, those fish, they get really slow and really lethargic like we do. And because of that, a lot of times they, they just, they won't bite. But if you can do this, sometimes if you can keep casting and sometimes if you can cast that lure right on top of their head, or if you can cast that lure on their bed, a lot of times that fish will react and it will it will bite that lure, sometimes in an effort to protect its bed or whatever the case may be. It's a reaction bite. And that fish bites that lure and you got him. You got him hooked. Now, here's the thing. Had that fish took the time to study, he would have figured out that lure was a fake. It was a fake and that he shouldn't bite that lure. But he didn't do that. He just reacted and he he lunged on that lure. And you know what? He was he was caught. He was captured. Now, I said that to say this, a lot of times Christians are the same way. A lot of times Christians just react. They just react to things. Uh, They respond to things. A lot of times Christians, even Christians sometimes, they believe things, and sometimes those things are not doctrinally sound, and sometimes those things are quite foolish, and the reason they believe those things and they accept those things, sometimes the devil We'll throw out a lure, and sometimes we'll 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 uh, bite it. And the reason we bite is because we react we react that way without studying that thing out. Now again, it's very very important, folks, that if you and I are going to be the Christians that we're supposed to be, and if we're going to live a victorious Christian life, it's very important that we study that we study, and we know how to live, and we know how to serve Christ, and we know how. We're supposed to respond. In the book, Are You Ready for Sunday, that we're going to give away Tuesday, there's a story, interesting story that I tell in the book, and it's a story about Buzz Aldrin and Neil Armstrong. And of course, they were the first two men that were ever to walk on the moon. It was 315 on July the 21st, 1969. America had won what was known as the space race. And uh, and when these men... Uh, stepped on the moon, as you can imagine, they became very, very popular. Some people call them a rock star in their own right, which just meant that they became very prestigious, very famous. People wanted their autograph. People wanted to talk to them. Uh, People wanted to just be around them. They became very, very popular uh, almost overnight. It was 10 years, interesting part of the story, it was 10 years to the day that Buzz Aldrin, uh, that that uh, Buzz Aldrin had walked on the moon when he was interviewed by a reporter, and the reporter asked this question to Buzz Aldrin. He said, "This: How are things now, in retrospect, to where we were when you landed on the moon?" And uh, now, sadly, by this time, Buzz Aldrin had lost his marriage to divorce. He had become somewhat of a recluse, and there are some who even claim that he had sort of lost his mind. And as that that reporter asked that question that day, this was Buzz Aldrin's response. This is what he said. They taught us how to walk on the moon, but no one ever taught us how to live on the earth. Whoa. They taught us how to walk on the moon, but no one ever taught us how to live on the earth. Man, oh man, oh man. Wow, what a statement. And you know, I am so afraid that that is the case today, that a lot of times people don't know how to live on the earth. And folks, listen, one of the reasons we don't know how to live on the earth is because we're not studying the blessed word of God. How many know this? God has given us what we need. God's given us instructions on how we can be good Christians, how we can have great marriages, how we can have a a strong home, how we can rear our kids in the nurture and the admonition of the Lord how we can live that victorious Christian life. You say, Pastor, I've wanted that for so long. You can have it. You can have it. But you've got to get in the Word of God, and you've got to study. Well, hallelujah. In in the Lord good, in the Lord good to us. Hey, I'm going to put a number on your screen. It's our prayer helpline number, 704-327-5662. If you're watching this broadcast today and you don't know Christ as personal Lord and Savior, oh, we'd love for you to call us. 
And we would love the opportunity of sharing Christ with you and telling you how you can know for sure that you're going to heaven when you die. I'll promise you something. Jesus is the greatest friend you'll ever have. And what a joy to know that I'm on my way to heaven. Can we share that with you? Would you call us today? And then if you're watching this broadcast and you've got a heavy, heavy burden on your heart, you just wish somebody would pray with you, we'll pray. We'll pray. Just call that number, 704 327 5662. If no one answers immediately, leave a callback number and we'll call you and pray with you today, my dear friend. Countdown family, we love you. Don't forget, be kind to everyone because everyone's having a tough time. I hope you have the greatest Thursday ever. Listen, take care and be blessed.